The Sussexes are being ditched by some of their friends in Hollywood. Harry and Meghan Markle have been pushed firmly down to the sea list following their repeated attacks on the monarchy. The royal pals have ditched the pair after they spilled Windsor family secrets in their six-part Netflix docuseries. Even Reese Witherspoon allegedly put a friendship with Catherine over her interview with Markle. Markle also allegedly failed to get on Lucy Liu's good side after labelling the actress a dragon lady in Kill Bill. Mariah Carey is also allegedly reeling after Markle refused to accept her explanation of what the word diva means. And even though David Beckham is his friend, the athlete jetted to Boston to show his support for Prince William and Catherine at the Earthshot Prize Awards. According to a source, the change of heart among these Hollywood celebrities has got Prince Harry rattled and he wants revenge. Earlier this month, Netflix dropped the first promo of Harry and Meghan. British journalist and investigative reporter Tom Bauer reacted after watching the trailer and said in an article for The Sun that he betrayed his family and country for money. Prince Harry now stands accused of being nothing less than a traitor, Bauer wrote. Few could have imagined that a member of the royal family, beloved by millions, would betray his father, the army and his country for a fistful of dollars. He added that none doubt the venture was driven by his wife, Meghan Markle, Bauer called Prince Harry a compliant husband to the former Suits actress. Nurtured in Hollywood, she's imposed her narrative on Harry, a compliant husband, Bauer added. The Netflix series is the latest vehicle to wreak damage on the royal family in Britain. Bauer speculated that Prince Harry and Marco were trying to take their revenge on the royal family, not forgetting what they wanted. He believed that they wanted to be popular, but they were down the line of succession and would never outrank King Charles or Prince William. Like a Hollywood godfather, the Montecito Sussexes seemed poised to extract their revenge for denying them the celebrity and status they craved. He also claimed that the royal couple was not only ruining the family, they were allegedly damaging his country's reputation. The Sussexes' venom will spread across the world, damaging not only the royal family, but Britain's reputation, Bauer added. He criticised the couple for leaving Britain for privacy, only to allegedly sell their souls with breathless vulgarity to Netflix, Spotify and magazines. In September, royal commentator Cara Kennedy claimed that Prince Harry and Markle were slowly being frozen out. They're not our royals, we don't have any allegiance to them, we don't have any reverence for them, we won't curtsy in front of them, to us they're just celebrities. That's the problem with mixing monarchy with celebrity, the two worlds overlap, but they're not the same. Meghan and Harry claim to have one foot in both, increasingly they aren't welcoming either, she said. And in October last year, Prince Harry and Markle also sparked rumours about the Obamas, after the latter didn't invite the Sussexes to Barack's birthday party. But according to reports, the Obamas decided to limit the number of guests at the celebration due to COVID-19, and royal correspondent Angela Levin told The Sun that Prince Harry and Markle weren't even on the original list of invitees to begin with.